We are here live with Jasseline from America's Next Top Model, Cycle 8 winner. So you're walking the show, Custo Barcelona. How excited are you? I'm so excited. Again, he's a Spanish designer, I'm a right. Spanish model. It's like a perfect duel, you know? So um, again, the anticipation is killing me. Mm -hmm. Are you actually wearing one of his numbers now? Definitely. It's not in the, it's, you're not gonna see it in the show tomorrow, okay. but this is one of his designs. And again, he's so amazing and he emphasizes on design and Thanks. colors and every girl loves to be in vibrant colors so right. it, it, he's just a great designer to work How for. How has American Next Top Model you know helped you as far as becoming a model in this industry? Do you think it's something that you know you would have been able to do without America's Next Top Model? Um, I think it's definitely opens a lot of doors you know um, I think the ex my experience has been mm -hmm. it's been a joyful experience. Um, I. I've worked so much because of the show. Um, a lot of people, I go into castings and people recognize me like, oh yeah, you're Justin Gonzalez. Some might not um, hire me because of being on the show, but really? like, maybe, because they might see me more as a reality TV star rather than a high fashion model, okay. you know? But again, that's why I'm trying to showcase myself and show people, look at this, this is the life after top model and I am still working as a high fashion model along with Custo Barcelona. So, you know, you really can, I really don't, uh, uh, live my life based on being a, the winner of America's Next Top Model. Right. I just really do showcase myself as a high fashion model and that's the kind of work I've been receiving. Where is the best place you've been so far with your modeling career, like travel-wise? Travel-wise, um, I, I would say ch uh, being in China was just such a nice just wow, a, a memorable experience for me. Um, you know, definitely culture shock and all mm -hmm. that stuff. But being along with Tyra Banks and many girls who were on Top Model for Cycle Nine, it was just a good, a good experience. I, I felt, I felt a little bit more well-rounded when I came back. You know, being in China, and whole total side, a whole totally different side of the country. Right. Now you're known for this cha cha heel thing. Cha -cha. So, do you still wear them on the runway? Like, how would you kind of, you know, change your walk and just become who you are but still have a personality on the runway? Yeah, that's the thing. I just, I'm very secure with who I am. Um, and I just, you know, I deliver when I have to. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. I'm very, you know, Cha Cha was not always, I'm not always Cha Cha but right. you know, it's just, uh, uh, when the moment's right. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy with models, you know, having to be real thin and living unhealthy lifestyles. Tell me how you kind of deal with that, you know, as a top model. I deal with it a lot, actually, you know, um, especially having so much media attention and, you know, not seeing too many celebrities this size. But again, every celebrity does want to be this size, so you always hear stories of them starving themselves, you know, falling to these uh, disorders and I'm like I don't embrace that you know I, I want to show people and embrace and embrace the fact that I am a natural healthy skinny girl right. you know what I mean I'm always I have uh, my, my three course meals I eat healthy you know I discipline myself because especially living in New York and running around I have to maintain this I, I have to actually eat a lot more to maintain that every girl should have body peace with herself and it's okay. It's, I know a lot of girls starve themselves because they want to be models, but you know what? You got to fit the standards. If the standards That's are to be a, 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 a certain size, you know, just let it be and, fi and find something that you, you will fit for, right. you know? So um, again, I don't embrace uh, the, the uh, not e eating healthy and starving yourself, those disorders. I really don't. I just, I am a natural. Up and coming projects you have. Definitely. Um, I have a cameo in a movie called um, Nothing Like the Holidays. I've been saying it's, it, uh, the movie's been uh, called Humble Park, but they changed the name. So today, all my interviews, I've, uh, I'm confirming that okay. it's a new uh, title for okay. starring John Leguizamo and Deborah Messing. Comes out in November. I have a cover right now as we speak uh, with Jam Rock Magazine. I saw that. You look amazing. Thank you. You look you really see different. That? Yes. It's beautiful. I know, right? Beautiful. I love it. It's yes, gorgeous. it's, it's a, def, uh, a different look uh, yeah. from what I've been uh, showing and um, very proud of it. And also working with campaigns, still with Bot29, another campaign called Marianne, um, and being spokesperson, you know, doing all types right. of stuff, you know, right. it keeps going. And again, being at the Cusco Barcelona exactly. show is something Big that show. I've been anticipating on. Big so, show. yes. Wonderful. Now, last thing, what is your it thing for fall? 
my it, my red lipstick. Your red lipstick. As you can see, <laughs> I know we're fall time right now, right. so I am just loving the red and the neutral, uh, not well, the neutral makeup and then the red and the bright thick, lip, right? Yeah, yeah. bright lip. So awesome! It looks beautiful on you. Thank Can't you. Wait to see you on the runway tomorrow. All right, thank you so much. <laughs>